All right, so shout outs to everyone. You know, there's like 24,000 uh, subscribers on my channel. Thank you very much, everyone, um, for all the support. That's first and foremost. Really, really appreciate everyone and the positive vibes that's been coming through through the channel. Really, really sick. Uh, we have something here that's like, I'm not going to lie, like, it's actually caught my mind. I'm just like, yo, like, is this real? Is this serious? So, Tekken have decided to do a mobile game. Now, the reason why this is weird to me is because I'm looking at this and I'm like, does this mean Bruce is back? Like, you see Christy here as well in the back. Does this mean, does this mean Christy and Bruce and everyone's coming back? They did talk about legacy characters. Let me tell you why my theory might be correct. Now, I'm going to watch this and I'm, I want you guys to watch it with me. These stages look really sick. Wait one second, wait one second. We have the National Museum. So this is based on... Yo. Yo. Is this the London stage? Cold. If this stage is in... Oh, listen. Hold on, wait a minute. Does this mean that Gigas... Does this mean that Mardok's back? Mardok is back in the game. I understand that this is a mobile game, right? And they're putting these characters in. But watch this and watch it slowly. It looks like that's a power crush move, right? And this would make sense. And that's a Tekka 7 character fighting. Oh, that's, King. that's a Tekka 7 character fighting Mordok, right? So. And that was Christy again. I need to see this again. Because the stages are absolutely sick. It would be a truly a waste to waste these stages and not bring them in Tekka 7. Like, look at the background. Look at this one as well. Why would you not bring it into Yo, oh, and that was a power play. Wait one second. See, I nearly skipped past Bruce. So Bruce might be back in the game. Look at the stage. The stage is sick. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, maybe, maybe I'm thinking too hard. But these uh, supers, right? Or the Rage Arts. These are from Tekka 7, right? So why would they do the legacy characters? Put them in a the mobile game and not put them on Tekka 7? Like, I'm not interested in a mobile game, if you want my God's honest truth. Because I, I don't do mobile gaming at all. But it's a good move. But there is no way you're going to have a legacy character like Christy... And I think Lay's probably going to be in this game. There's no way you're going to have these legacy characters. And not put them in the game. That would be absurd. Yeah, I just want to. Let me see. I've never seen that one. I don't know what that is. But this is good. This is pretty good. Because if they do bring these characters. Oh man. This would be so sick. But yeah, I guess... Guess that's it, man. We're gonna be having these guys. If they they import the stages, man. It's game over. It's game over. They import the stages. It's game over. 
They have all their radar. And to be honest with you, it looks like they're showcasing their radar. This thing looks like she's got one. Christie's bike looks like she has one, which might be Eddie's one. Yeah, these legacy characters are stacked. It looks like it's gonna happen. Harada, please do the right thing. Please bring bring the stages over. These stages. Put more detail into them and into Tekken and Tekken 7. And bring the characters back. Yo, this is crazy. This is real crazy. Alright, well, there you go, guys. There you have it. This is a Tekken Mobile game. I think legacy characters are actually coming back to Tekken 7. It, this is proof. This is proof, but we don't know until maybe I reckon they'll release it next year or something like that. But yeah. What do you guys think of the Tekken Mobile game? If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about what you think about Tekken Mobile video. And make sure you, you know, you subscribe as well, man. Take it easy, guys. Peace.